everybody. My name is Bianca Bruce. Welcome to my YouTube channel. On today's episode, we're going to take a few minutes to talk about this topic that it comes up quite a bit in coaching sessions and people talk about it and I think we are expected to know what it means and honestly, I'm not really sure that it's such a clear-cut answer. So we're going to talk about purpose. If you've been in a bookstore, if you've had a conversation with your girlfriends or cruised on the internet, you will have seen there are so many, so many books, so many blog posts, so many opinions about what purpose is, what it looks like, whether you have one, uh, how you know you have one. So I am not trying to say in this episode that I have all the answers because I don't. That's not even what this is about. Um, that's not ever what coaching is about. A conversation on purpose in this particular case is really just that. It's to converse and to exchange some ideas um, that have to do with this topic that comes up in coaching and in our lives so much. What I would say about purpose is that purpose in my conversations often gets confused with passion. So we have a lot of passion in our world and we use passion as a feeling to uh, describe where we're at, to talk about our ideas and our goals and our dreams, our big picture vision with a lot of emotion and with a lot of drive. And sometimes when someone speaks to you about what they are passionate about, you and even themselves can confuse that with their purpose. It's not necessarily your purpose, something you're passionate about doesn't mean that that's also con connected to your purpose. Now your purpose can and does often come with a lot of passion. It's when you know this thing that you are set out to do, that who you are and what you are here to do on earth for this period of time um, is exactly fitting into your vision and to your dream with your goals, your values fit into that. And now because you have, you have that understanding, you also have a lot of passion about it. You're feeling that passion. So for simple terms, uh, passion is something you feel and purpose is something you have. It's yours. Now, I don't know about you, but Often in life, things happen, right? Circumstances and um, world events. And we live in a world, especially as I am taping this, this week in our country has been incredibly painful and contentious. There is so much going on in our world and in our communities, real conversations that we can have. There's a lot of passionate conversations happening. And I think that's really important and we need to continue to engage those. But that is not really what this episode is about. It's about understanding what your purpose in the conversation is. So whether that is a conversation that is happening globally or nationally or in your small inner circle community, or that is a conversation that is happening just internally within you, it's really, really important to ask yourself, who am I? in this and what can I really impact? What are my values? What is important to me? What can I not go without? Um, you might even ask yourself something like, what has always been true for me? How did I grow up? Your values and how you were raised in your family directly impact your understanding of your purpose, who you are. So in coaching, there is this exercise that I do with clients that is really important and can be quite impactful. Um, we talk about a intersection of three areas or circles, if you will. Some of you might be a visual learner. And so if you are, you could even visualize or draw three circles on a piece of paper. And you wanna make sure that those three circles intersect at some point. So you will have in one circle, circle A, your first one, you will have your strengths and your calling, things that you feel really 
passionate about, that are strongly placed on your heart. You might feel called or passionate about um, social justice issues. You might feel called or passionate about providing really great food to people in your community, whether that is through cooking classes or organic farming or, um, you know, farm to table kind of stuff, whatever it is that you feel that you feel called to do. So that goes in that circle, your strength, your calling. Your second circle, circle B, will be filled with skills and tools, things you have learned over time. That might be your education, whether it's directly ap applicable to strength and calling or um, inferred skills that you have had and have acquired over a lifetime. Even if you are really young, let's say you are in your 20s, you have skills and you have tools that you have been equipped with through your upbringing, through the experiences that you have had that you can pack into that circle. And the last and the third circle would be circle C and that would be need. So when you perceive a need in your community, your nation, your, the, the globe, in humanity, that is what would go in there. Something that you see with your perspective and your unique point of view, where you would want to bring your strength and your calling, your skills and your tools to intersect with the needs. When you look at these three circles intersecting at the very center of it is this teeny tiny bit of an overlap. When you color that in, whatever color, red or blue or green, whatever that tiny bit is, that intersection, that is where your purpose lives. Now you'll be doing tons of things in your life, in your everyday interactions that are maybe not necessarily obviously purpose-based. My favorite example is when I wash dishes, I'm not sure how that connects to my purpose. Sometimes when I race in my car to pick up my child, or when I write an invoice or I write another proposal, I'm not really sure that that is exactly connected to my purpose. But that everything we do is connected to your purpose because remember, purpose is something you, something you have. It's not a feeling. It's not even something you do. You have purpose. And we want to be really intentional that the majority of the work we do is in line with our values, with who we are and what we believe our purpose is. And so as we work into that direction, we feel connected to our purpose. So purpose versus passion. Passion is something you feel, purpose is something you have. Listen, I want to know what you're thinking. What are your thoughts about this? How do you experience purpose? How did you grow up with the understanding of purpose? How were you raised with that? Was that a word you, um, you used maybe in your community? Um, those of us who've grown up in a church community all are familiar, most of us are familiar with this book, Purpose Driven Life. How did that maybe shape you? A book that you read or a conversation that you overheard in your community um, and how did that influence your perspective on purpose? Do you maybe feel that purpose is something scary, glooming, something somebody else has and discovered uh, on a retreat somewhere and you're just not there yet? What is your thought and your idea on purpose? In coaching, I tell my clients that the coach gets to set the agenda. And that's a very fancy way of saying that you bring all of the questions. You bring your thoughts and ideas and your feedback and you bring your unique perspective and together we engage that. So my hope is that you would feel free to comment and subscribe to this channel so you can get notifications on when we're up. But comment below or send me an email, send me a question um, and ask me or tell me what it is you're thinking about purpose. I cannot wait to hear from you. That's the best part about this avenue of communication. I'm really lucky to be able to participate with you. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day. And listen, don't be scared. I can promise you, you have purpose. I'll see you next time.